we will take up the osmoregulatory role of kidney in situation where excess of water is taken in and this excess of water goes into the body fluid. So we are talking of the osmoregulatory role of kidney when excess of water is taken. Then how does the kidney help in removal of this excess of water? In this situation, the kidneys would remove hypotonic urine. In such situation, urine would become hypotonic. Hypotonic means dilute with excess of water. Now this regulatory role is done in two ways. Number one, by increasing ultrafiltration. We have studied the complete process of ultrafiltration. Ultrafiltration takes place through the glomerular capillaries in the Bowman's capsule under pressure, which is known as glomerular filtration pressure. And that pressure is 10 millimeters of mercury. But if water intake is more, so if we make a simple flow chart, more water taken in, this would result in increase in blood volume. The volume of the blood is going to increase because that extra water coming into blood. Because of this, the hydrostatic pressure of blood increases. Increase in hydrostatic pressure of blood. And if you are able to remember this hydrostatic pressure with which the blood enters into afferent arteriole was 60 millimeters of mercury. And if this is the situation, it is going to increase beyond this 60 and there was some resistance caused the pressure which is acting as a resistant pressure was 50 millimeters so when we subtract subtract 50 from 60 we get 10 millimeters but if this hydrostatic pressure goes up say it becomes 70 or 80 the resistance pressure is same 50 so 60 minus 50 was giving us normal filtration pressure but if it is 80 minus 50, this pressure is going to increase. So this results in increase in glomerular filtration pressure. Normal filtration pressure is 10 millimeters. This condition would result in increase in this pressure. And it would increase depending upon how much water has taken or is extra and because of which how much hydrostatic pressure has increased. Because of this increase in pressure, there would be increased glomerular filtration rate. Glomerular filtration rate was 125 milliliters per minute. So this rate would increase, that means more and more nephric filtrate would be formed. So more nephric filtrate and if there is more nephric filtrate, more and more water will be thrown out of the body. So more water goes out. And if more water goes out, this means hypotonic urine. And hypotonic urine is having all that extra water. So by increasing ultrafiltration, that excess of water has been removed and kidney has helped in maintaining osmolarity because if this water remains, the liquid, the body fluid is going to become dilute because solvent is increasing. So the condition is if excess of water is taken in, blood volume increases, that increase in blood volume affects the hydrostatic pressure of the blood in the afferent arteriole and this results in increasing glomerular filtration pressure which is normally 10 millimeters. If pressure is more, filtration rate would be more. 
if red is more more nephric filtrate is formed it is going to have all that extra water which will be thrown out of the body that is the urine would be hypotonic dilute urine would be thrown out so in this situation by increasing ultra filtration kidneys are able to maintain the concentration of the body fluid in our body this is one method by which if excess of water is taken in osmolarity can be maintained the second method is by decreasing reabsorption of water so this is by decreasing absorption of water absorption of water takes place in dct and collecting duct which are under influence of adh so here this is the second method now let us see what happens and this is due to adh anti diuretic hormone which is also known as vasopressin it is also called vasopressin now there is one more important thing which we have to remember by about this adh is it is secreted by hypothalamus hypothalamus and released by posterior lobe of pituitary the difference is the hormone production takes place by or in hypothalamus this hormone after is produced it is transported and stored into the posterior lobe of pituitary and whenever required it is released from posterior lobe now when water is in excess how is this second method going to help in maintaining the osmolarity again the same thing. increased water excess of water is taken in this results in increase in blood volume as soon as blood volume increases this triggers reduced release of adh so there is decreased release of adh the adh which is to be released from pituitary it's released is decreased and if adh is less it is not going to help distal convoluted tubule and collecting duct to reabsorb water so there is decrease reabsorption of water in dct and collecting duct so if these ducts don't absorb water from the nephric filtrate the water is going to remain in that filtrate or in other words it's going to remain in urine and the urine would be hypotonic again all that extra water which was taken in is lost along with urine and that is where the urine is going to become less concentrated or dilute or hypotonic so in both the situation whenever water intake is more it causes increase in blood volume and that stimulates everything here it was increase in hydrostatic pressure which triggered everything here higher blood volume decrease the release of anti diuretic hormone from pituitary and if adh is less absorption of water from dct and collecting ducts will not take place or will take place very very less and if water is not absorbed from that filtrate which is passing through the tubule all that water would go out along with urine so in these two situations kidneys have helped in maintaining osmolarity by losing that extra water in urine and if all that extra water is gone the concentration of the body fluid is maintained this is situation 
when there is excess of water taken in and these are the two mechanisms by which the kidneys help in maintaining osmolarity. The second situation is when water intake is less. So now how kidneys would help in absorption of more and more water and if more and more water gets absorbed then in that situation the urine which would get eliminated would be more concentrated that is hypertonin. So in the next segment we would see the second situation how kidneys help when or how the regulatory role works when intake of water is less or the body fluid is less due to some kind of loss.